This is ABC 7 News at 7. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Good evening, everyone. I'm Alan Cohn, and welcome to ABC 7 at 7. We are live in Cleveland at the Republican National Convention, where it is day three. It is the night that Mike Pence will come to the floor of the convention and accept his party's nomination for vice president. And then Florida's stars come out. Marco Rubio is not here, but he will talk to delegates by video. And then it's Pam Bondi, the attorney general. And the question for her is, can she provide the same kind of sizzle and red meat that another former prosecutor provided delegates the other day. We are talking about Rudy Giuliani, the former mayor of New York, who spoke to this convention on Monday night and spoke to us today. How can the Democratic Party make the opposite case when the head of the FBI said she was extremely careless in handling national security information? And should someone who's extremely careless handling national security become president of the United States? Go make the other case. Good luck. That's just a little bit of Rudy Giuliani there. The convention will be gaveled to order just shortly, and we will be back in just a few minutes with our roundtable, including an interview with U.S. Senate candidate Carlos Baruf, who is challenging Marco Rubio. Just stay tuned in a couple of minutes. But first, Haley and Bob have news and weather from the studio. Back to you. Thank you, Alan. Good evening, everyone. Joining you now in Sarasota, I'm Haley Wilgus. All this week, ABC7 is live in Cleveland for the Republican National Convention. Our special coverage of the RNC con continues tomorrow. We will have live updates in all of our shows, as well as exclusive content on our Facebook page and on Twitter. Next week, ABC7 goes to Philadelphia for the Democratic National Convention. I will be there along with Alan and reporter Adam Cellini to bring you all the latest developments. A Hillary Clinton campaign official says the Democratic vice presidential pick could be announced during a rally in Tampa on Friday. Those close to the campaign say Senator Tim Kaine of Virginia and Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack are the most likely candidates. If Clinton doesn't make the announcement on Friday, it is expected to come on Saturday during her visit in Miami. Clinton's Tampa rally will be at the Florida State Fairgrounds Entertainment Hall. Doors open at 2.30. The rally begins at 4.30. More than 1,300 Zika cases have been reported in the continental U.S., all contracted by people traveling outside of the country or from sexual transmission. But Florida health officials are investigating what may be the first case caused by mosquitoes here in the U.S. More than 300 Floridians are infected with the Zika virus. Now, a new report out of Miami, it's feared there is a case there caused by mosquitoes in Florida, but not confirmed yet. Infectious disease experts here on the Sun Coast are already theorizing about the circumstances of the infection. Let's just say they're traveling. They get bitten by a mosquito. They carry in the virus. Now they come into this country and they get bit by another mosquito here. Then obviously that mosquito can then transmit to other people in the region. Officials are still continuing tests to determine if the infection was from local mosquitoes. One major roadblock for detection Four out of five people with Zika show no symptoms. A Venice man is facing nearly a dozen felony charges following a raid by police and the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office. 54-year-old Ryan Hug was arrested following four months of surveillance. Officers found multiple firearms, thousands of rounds of ammunition, and a collection of drugs including methamphetamine and morphine. Heavy weapons involved, uh, drugs. Uh, people coming going out of the house that and uh, so it was very important to have uh, very well trained uh, people with resources and that would be the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office. It's very strange to see men with machine guns and flak jackets and camouflage gear on your little island. Hug is behind bars tonight on a $25,000 bond. Law enforcement is investigating whether child prostitution was taking place in the house. 
We're following a developing story tonight. Manatee Sheriff's arrested. Sheriff's Department arrested 20-year-old Jamal Calloway in connection with the shooting death of Joseph Allen. 22-year-old Allen was found dead in Parrish yesterday on Old Tampa Road. Detectives say he was left there after being killed in his Palmetto home. This is the second body found in Manatee County just this week. Manatee County deputies also investigating human remains found in the woods behind Port Manatee. Two mosquito control employees discovered the skeletal remains. An investigation is now underway. Florida's Office of Financial Regulation says to be on the lookout for an email scam. Con artists are claiming to be from the OFR, threatening legal action for past due payday loan accounts. Officials say people need to be wary of this scam and similar tricks. It's so important for consumers to always be vigilant. You know, when you're checking your email, if you don't recognize an address, you know, investigate that. Do your own research. Um, verify the license of a company um, or professional before you do business with them. Experts advise you to be on the lookout for certain red flags, including grammatical errors, misspellings, vague details, and the use of non-state government email addresses such as Gmail. You can report these types of scams by going to flofr.com. Sarasota's Bayfront 2020 project is receiving a major investment. The Patterson Foundation is putting up an initial $100,000 to help revitalize the 42 acres of Sarasota's Bayfront from the former Quay site to the Van Wezel Performing Arts Hall. Another $200,000 will also be donated. That money will go toward a nonprofit planning organization comprised of city officials and representatives from the art community. Now we're taking it up a level to this creating a master plan and it's going to cost money to create a plan. Budget's two and a half million dollars. So the Patterson Foundation felt as a good citizen we should step forward and make an immediate contribution of one hundred thousand dollars. The remaining two hundred thousand dollars will be made in increments based on what the planning organization is able to accomplish. Moat Marine is postponing plans to help restore the only barrier reef in the continental U.S. Since 2012, Moat has worked with Scuba Knots International and the Combat Wounded Veteran Challenge to plant the nursery-grown corals near Lou Key. Moat is blaming windy conditions and low visibility for this decision. The project is planned to resume next year. And now we'll head over to Bob and get a check on our forecast. Well, right now, Haley, some windy conditions on the uh, bay here. As we take a look at time, as Van Weasel webcam showing uh, showers and storms really starting to flare up right around 630. And that line of showers now moving through coastal locations, bringing some heavy rainfall and some frequent lightning, too. Uh, earlier, the bigger storms were inland, and that was around 3 o'clock, and they raced off toward the west now with the heaviest storms by far along Longboat Key up in northwest Bradenton. A significant amount of lightning strikes occurring there on Longboat Key, stretching all the way up near Cortez and Anna Maria Island getting some pretty heavy rainfall right now. Bradenton, you're out of the woods at this time, at least the eastern portion of Bradenton and downtown looking okay right now. But uh, northwest Bradenton, also near the uh, looks like Robinson Preserve, getting some heavy rainfall heading toward Anna Maria Island, uh, where you will see a downpour there for the next uh, 15 to uh, 20 minutes, and then things will start to calm down. The high today was 96 degrees. And that was just one degree shy of the record. It's raining at the airport. It's 83. It's cooled at least 10 degrees just in the last hour as a result of the rain that's moved through and the atmosphere. Not all that juiced up right now, but we expect more, I think, uh, over the next couple of days, especially on Friday. Bigger storms will move through and produce some heavier rainfall, even the potential for some severe weather, I think more so on Friday, as you see right here from this depiction of a RPM forecast model indicating that we'll see a little bit better chance of some more widespread rain uh, come Friday and uh, possibly even in the Saturday afternoon. Uh, temperatures around the area where it's rained, it's cooled. Mayaka City, Northport, Arcadia in the upper 70s there. Even in the Sarasota now, 83 degrees in Braden, this temperature will be coming down as a result of the rain that's moving through there right now. For boaters, it checks out like this. East winds turn to the northwest tomorrow. Five to ten knots. Seas will be one to two feet in a light chop on the bays and inland waters. Look for those late day storms to be around. And it looks like it could be anywhere from three to six o'clock, basically. A 91 degrees, the high for the beaches tomorrow. The water temperature at 88, and the UV index will stay high at a 10. Tomorrow's forecast, mostly sunny during much of the day. And then late day storms developing once again. High temperatures a little bit above average due to that easterly wind flow throughout much of it. A little west coast breeze developing later in the afternoon. The extended forecast uh, shapes up like this. The rain chance will stay anywhere from 40 to 50 percent right through the weekend with high temperatures in the low 90s with a, a feels like temperature 
right around 100 to 105 each and every afternoon. So we look forward to these beneficial afternoon showers and storms. The only downside is that they can create some uh, severe weather at times and always dangerous lightning. We saw a couple of people get hit by lightning yesterday up in Clearwater in Pinellas County. So keep an eye on that. If you can hear the thunder, you're close enough to getting hit uh, by these storms. Haley. Thank you, Bob. Still to come, Alan Cohn has our roundtable from Cleveland. We will find out what some prominent Suncoast Republicans are saying about this year's convention. Our RNC coverage continues after the break. Need new windows? Buy direct from the factory. New South Window is having a sale. The more you buy, the more you save. Buy four windows, save 25%. Buy six windows, save 30%. Buy eight or more windows and save 35%. How? Because New South owns the factory and you cut out the middleman. Award-winning, energy-efficient windows and doors installed with a lifetime warranty. New South Windows are made in Florida for Florida homes by Florida workers. Visit NewSouthWindow.com or call now. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Are you considering joint replacement or revision surgery? Consider this. Dr. Edward Stolarski has performed thousands of successful joint replacement procedures and trained surgeons from all over the world. Using advanced technologies, Dr. Stolarski is able to perform some of the most complex surgeries. I wish I knew about Dr. Stolarski much sooner. After the surgery, I don't have any pain. It's like I've got a 16-year-old hip. My name's Ed Stolarski. What I really do is I give people back their life. Schedule a consultation today. Attention, this is an important message for anyone who had an IVC filter placed to prevent blood clots from traveling to their heart or lungs. Did your IVC filter move, break, or cause organ damage? The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications, such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, even death. If you or a loved one suffered serious complications, call IVC Filter Helpline now. You may be entitled to compensation. IVC filters are designed to prevent blood clots. If your IVC filter moved or broke and you suffered heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, or if a loved one died as a result, call IVC Filter Helpline today. Our network of experienced attorneys is ready to fight for you. You'll pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor. Call today for a free confidential consultation. Don't fight this alone. Call IVC Filter Helpline now. Please call 800-897-6764. That is 800-897-6764. Watch ABC7 reporting live from the RNC all this week. And welcome back, everyone. And joining us for our roundtable tonight is U.S. and candidate Carlos Baru, Christian Ziegler, Sarasota committee man for the Republican Party of Florida, and Joe Gruder is the chairman of Donald Trump's Florida campaign. Gentlemen, uh, what a, what a day it was yesterday. And uh, Carlos, let me start with you because you are here. Your primary opponent is not. And what do you think that says? Well, it basically is a, the, 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 the typical politician thing where you have a tepid, well, do I or don't I or what's best for me. And what's best for this country is Donald Trump to be the next president of the United States. And that's who I'm here to support. But obviously, Senator Rubio is making a different decision. And, and frankly, he's not alone. There are other U.S. senators he's who alone are not as here. as far as I'm concerned. Okay. <laughs> but why did you feel it was important to, to, to be here? Because actually, Senator Rubio is, is going around Florida, and he is, he is campaigning. He is spending the time. No, he's spending the time now they didn't spend the last six years. Right. Uh, Christian, what did you think of, of last night? Because obviously, uh, you know, the, the it was a little bumpy begin, uh, beginning to the convention on Monday. Yesterday, it was absolutely smooth. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's exciting. You know, we officially have our nominee. So all the discussions about the primary and if Trump's going to be our nominee or not uh, is over. So now the Republican Party, we're going to unify. We're going to focus on November. So that really is the pivot point for the grassroots, for the Republican Party, to really get us mobilized and push us towards making the phone calls, knocking on the doors, to ensure that we defeat Hillary in November. And, and Joe, you know, I, on a personal note, uh, 
we interviewed Corey Lewandowski, your, your, your former boss, so to speak, uh, the other day, and, and it was interesting because he got Donald Trump here in, in a large part, and now he's kind of a spectator. Um, have you given that much thought? No, I'll say what a what an act of true class yesterday when he actually uh, led the New Hampshire delegation, giving uh, Trump the votes out of there. New Hampshire was the first state that came out and voted for Trump. So it's, it was a big day for him, but it's a big day for Donald Trump, obviously securing the nomination as an outsider, beating 16 others. But today's focus is putting America first again, and it's going to be interesting to see the speakers that we see today, and uh, I expect big things tonight. Let me ask you this. Uh, when I watched the coverage, it seemed like there were two parts of it. Uh, there was the red meat, Chris Christie uh, last night, uh, Don Jr. and um, uh, Mr. Trump's uh, other daughter. There, it seems like the red meat is for the people in the, in the room and the family is for everybody watching on TV. Well, I think uh, Donald Jr. hit it out of the park last night. He talked about his father in a way that we all want to hear that he, you know, really personalized the message, uh, it brought it home to people, and I think people that are watching at home really enjoyed his speak. We had nothing, I mean, I think if Donald Jr. was running, we'd probably win by 20 points. It was an amazing time. Uh, and yes, I mean, there's always messages out there, and people go off script. You got to think about this. Every speaker, that, speaker that goes up there, especially these elected officials, they all have their own backgrounds, their own stories to tell, and that's what make these makes these conventions so great. Is they all are bringing a different, unique perspective. And I remember watching Ben Carson speak last night, and all of a sudden he went off script, and you could see the teleprompter in back and see what he's supposed to say, and he's going completely off of it. And I thought, man. Dr. Ben Carson, we had him in Sarasota. He was he hit another home run back there, and I thought he did well last night. And it's like every speaker back to back to back. You know, I think they're pushing the agenda of the day. I think they're doing a good job, and I think as a result, more Republicans are coming to the table, uniting, and I think we're getting more and more exciting, and the momentum is building as we headed to Donald Trump's speech on Thursday night. Carlos, I, I don't know if you've been to other GOP conventions. Uh, Number one, have you? And number, okay. And how does your former role compare to what you're doing now? It's completely different. Uh, I went as a delegate, so this is the first time I've obviously run for anything, and uh, pretty much the last time I'm ever going to run for anything. So <laughs> that's kind of Sherman esque. <laughs> but we could get to that until his reelection. <laughs> of course, we could get to that for a moment. Of course, until I'm reelected. But, but what do you? So what is your? What's your job here? My job is here is to support the, the nominee and make sure that, that the party understands that there's some of us that are 100 percent committed to Donald Trump for president. But what, what are you doing in terms of meeting and greeting members of the Florida delegation? What, what do you hope to accomplish right here? Just be part of the group. That's all. Just be one of the supporters. And, and back to <laughs> saying it's your only run, I mean, one way or the other, um, I mean, if this didn't work out, would you consider running for I'm not even office? worried about that at this point. I'm not even thinking about that. That's for, that's for politicians who think that far ahead. Christian, uh, i got to solve the problem now. Uh, <laughs> what's your impressions in terms of, of just the floor of the delegation right now, what you're doing, what you're seeing, uh, you know, what you're hearing from, you know, delegates from other states? I think one word's unified. Uh, you know, Donald Trump obviously won 66 out of 67 counties in Florida. Um, you go around to all the delegates here, but also all the party leaders within the state party of the Republican Party of Florida, and everyone is unified, excited to get behind Donald Trump, and really even more so excited to defeat Hillary Clinton. So, you know, there's not really a candidate that could run for the Democratic nomination or, or the Democratic candidate for president than Hillary Clinton that's going to mobilize us more. So um, I think Republicans are unified, excited, um, and once we leave this convention, we're all going to, you know, go back to our areas and we're going to get on the phones, knock on the doors, and ensure that Donald Trump wins. Angel, let me ask you one, one other question. You've been to a few of these uh, national conventions. How does what Cleveland is offering right now compare to Tampa four years ago, just in terms of logistics and things to do? And, and give me a little bit of that color. Well, I will tell you that we had a board meeting today and they asked that same question. I said that this is 10 times better than our Tampa experience. Because in Tampa, remember, we were bused almost two hours away from the convention hall. We were actually further away in our hotel than we would have been if we would have drove from our own homes. Cleveland is surprisingly a beautiful city. They've done so much to, it, to really enrich the experience of all the delegates, 
Our days are completely packed, if not with uh, uh, internal party meetings. Uh, they have different activities. It's been an absolutely amazing experience. We're meeting the, the, the best and brightest political figures across this great country. And it's really a crash course education lesson where we're getting as, all this conservative, uh, uh, it's an incredible conservative education. It's just been amazing. And we just have a few minutes left here, but let me ask you both uh, something. Uh, yesterday afternoon, there were some protests outside that seemed to be two different types. There was the Black Lives uh, Movement and then some Christian organizations, and it was really getting heated outside. Are you concerned that um, each day of the week it's, it's ramping up just a little bit more? It's going to because there's obviously the attention is on Thursday night when Donald Trump's here and gives his you know uh, keynote speech. Uh, but really, when you see it, I've actually been shocked. I haven't seen too much protesting at all. I think the media and everyone was really hyping it up before the convention. Um, and in addition to the security and both, really, I, I've never felt more secure. Um, you look at there's it's impossible to not see a law enforcement officer um, when you're anywhere downtown. And then protesters, they've been really slim to none. So um, it's been an awesome experience. I think that everyone's really unified. I know within the convention hall, um, but you're always going to have the robber rousers outside. And, and Carlos, I'll give you the last word. Um, you know, the, the poll show that you still have a, a pretty uh, steep climb here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what are your hopes and your goals? I mean, I see you're at, still advertising a lot. Are you yeah. going to be pumping in more money to, to you know, because we only have a couple of weeks left? It's consistency. It's like business. You have to be consistent, keep doing the work, and then you'll get the dividends when you're done with the work. It's All pretty right. simple. Gentlemen, thank you very much for uh, joining you. us today, thank and you. we will be back in just a moment. Hi, I'm Joan London, and if you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, and you want reliable senior care information, then call A Place for Mom, the nation's largest senior living referral service. You'll get free information on assisted living, Alzheimer's care, nursing homes, even important financial information. They had obviously researched every place, not just given me names. Really? They found me a place for what she could afford, and it was magnificent. We're now very confident that she's safe and they just helped every step of the way and I can't thank them enough. So if you're struggling to find reliable senior living information, call a place for mom. This is a free service and you can trust them to help you. Call right now to get your free Senior Care Compass eBook. Find out about the five best kept secrets on financing senior care and assisted living. Call now 800-290-0352. 800-290-0352. They took that stress and that tension when I was particularly feeling very bad <laughs> after that nasty car accident, and it was such a relief to know that I didn't have to bear that burden alone, that I had help. Our goal is to not just get a, a satisfactory settlement on their case. We want them up on their feet, happy again. They've gotten their life back. That's Chuck, proud homeowner, regular do-it-yourselfer. Today he's attempting an electrical repair. This is Pablo, he's an electrician with Mr. Sparky. How's he doing, Pablo? Terrible, Mike. Yeah, what Chuck doesn't realize is that almost 68,000 home fires are caused every year by electrical problems. What? If he doesn't have the proper tools and training, he's liable to start the next one. <laughs> Little help here! That's what I'm talking about. Call 888-8-SPARKY. You uh, might want to write that number down. <laughs> Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass & Mirror can meet your every need. For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT WinGuard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT WinGuard impact resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. U.S. Med has great news for anyone living with diabetes. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, U.S. Med will ship a new glucose meter right to your home. And shipping is free. My new meter uses only a speck of blood, so it's less painful than my previous meter. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, you're covered with U.S. Med. We're welcoming new patients, even if your current provider can't supply you anymore. I don't even have to test on my fingers anymore. I can test on my hand or forearms, and it's more accurate than my old meter. 
So call US Med today and you'll have a choice of two great meters. One that actually speaks your results. Or a meter so small it fits on the bottle of strips. Act now and US Med will include a free prescription discount card. We'll also send you a free diabetes cookbook. This is your opportunity. So call US Med today. You'll be glad you did. A speechwriter for the Donald Trump campaign has come forward taking the blame for including passages from Michelle Obama's speech in the speech Melania Trump gave. The staffer offered her resignation, but it was refused. Here's what you had to say. Michelle Lyons writes, Trump is an entertainer. Of course, he knew the speech was copied. He knew everyone would be talking about it and would keep his name on every headline. Barry Quartnick writes, for a guy who only hires the best, his campaign is full of incompetent people. And Jack Turley writes, I think he needed a scapegoat and any female would do. He was going to forgive whoever stepped forward and offered responsibility and maybe get a little bonus out of it. We'll be keeping up with the latest on the convention right here at ABC7. Let us know what you're thinking by visiting our Facebook page. That's all the time we have for this evening. I'm Haley Wilgus. Thank you for joining us. Our RNC coverage from Cleveland continues tomorrow night. And in the meantime, we'll see you tonight at 11.